Let's talk about manual focus today. We're gonna to use our Thunder Laser, and I'm gonna show you how to use manual focus to get the correct focus. I know these machines have the autofocus feature, but there's gonna come a point in time when you realize that you need to use manual focus. So let me show you how to do that. It's easy. So I'm gonna show you how to manual focus using three different methods today. These first two methods here, these are what comes with your laser. Both of these should be included in the toolbox um, that you got when you got your Thunder Laser. This is the little focus um, acrylic square, and then also a focus ruler here made from acrylic. And these are 3D printed blocks that I got from um, someone who makes these on Etsy. And I will leave a link in the description to these focus blocks. You will see why these would come in handy later. First things first, let's make sure that you do know how to raise and lower your bed. The up and down arrow keys is how you do that. So if you wanna lower your bed, just press the down arrow. And of course, just press the up arrow if you want to lift your bed up. So first off, we're gonna start with this uh, square acrylic piece that came with your laser. And this is almost six millimeters thick. It's just a little bit shy, at least ours is, but it, it still works for this. So six millimeters is where the preferred focus is for most things. And as you will see, you have quite a bit of gap between your material and the nozzle of your laser head here. So we want to close that gap so it fits on here. So the first thing we're going to do is raise our laser bed up to where it is close to this nozzle. But you will notice that I moved the little square out of the way before we started raising this. Once it gets close, just kind of check to see how close it is. And once it is low enough that it is hitting that, then go back down one notch so you know that you're underneath it now. But there's still just that tiny bit of play. And I'll show you how we fix that. You will notice this little thumb screw here on the side. So what you need to do is you need to loosen it and it will drop your laser nozzle down just a little bit. So now it is touching that acrylic. You can move this acrylic piece out and you should be focused at this exact focus height of this acrylic piece. And that's how you set a manual focus using this. Now I will tell you by adjusting this with this screw, your autofocus will not be correct if you go to use autofocus again. So before you go to autofocus, make sure that you slide your nozzle all the way back up to the collet where it belongs. The other method uses this little focus ruler that also came with your machine. You can see if you slide it underneath here, you can um, see kind of which mark you're on. Each one of these little marks is a half of a millimeter. So you can just raise or lower your bed till you get it to the exact height that you want it to be. But what I have been using lately are these focus blocks. And these are 3D printed blocks. Um, if you have a 3D printer, you can make them yourself or you can purchase these on Etsy. Um, these are six, seven and eight millimeter blocks because sometimes we want to focus our tumblers at seven millimeter instead of the normal six millimeter. So this seven millimeter block works great. You can slide it underneath your nozzle and then loosen the screw and adjust the nozzle head down to where it touches that and you should be focused right at seven millimeters. This also works great when you're focusing across multiple items like pencils or ink pens, stuff like that. And as always, if you're going back to autofocus, make sure that you raise your nozzle head up back to where it belongs. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.